all right so for today's video we are going to be showcasing all the new cosmetics in update 17. now this time we have a decent amount of cosmetics unfortunately we are missing the tournament cosmetic i think we are getting it next week i just claimed mine i was first as you can see but i didn't get uh caesar i got isagi again uh, i was hoping for a shiny caesar but i guess we're getting them next week there we go there's my shiny isagi uh hopefully next week for the tournament we will get caesar so i'll if you guys want uh, I can do a video on that when he comes out, if I get Shiny Caesar, but for now, we're going to go on and uh, review, uh, sorry, and rate all the new cosmetics that came out with this update. First, we're going to start with the obvious Bambi that I have. I think it's the only one I have from this update and like the Battle Pass unit. But yeah, this is Shiny Bambi right here. We're going to uh, go on to the shiny version next, but her shiny is pretty cool. You stupid. Uh, her unit itself looks really good as well, like her and her like Quincy outfit. I really like that. Uh, the wings are pretty cool. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I probably give this a six point five out of ten. Uh, it's it's pretty solid unit. Uh, it's pretty pretty solid cosmetic. Some of you guys might like it better, but um you know what actually i give it a 7 out of 10 i i don't know i really like the wings the wings are pretty cool i'll give it a 7 yeah well i'll change it to a 7 7 for not non-shiny bambi but yeah let's go on to the next let's go on to a shiny version now all right so we have the shiny bam bambi here which was the last uh infinite castle unit so it's basically just the same cosmetic as the non-shiny except her wings are blue so it's not too bad um it's pretty cool to be honest uh, i don't know. let me know if you guys like the pink wings or the blue wings better Th other than that though there's really not much of a difference it's just whichever color you prefer if you like blue better then yeah i guess you can go the extra mile and get a shiny bambi but if not, then uh, the regular one would be good. And I don't think the outfit on this on the uh, shiny is as good, like the unit itself. Like I like her her the, the her Quincy outfit more than her uh, shiny outfit. But the I Loki like the blue better. So yeah, I was so close to getting shiny Bambi, but you all know the story about that. Now let's move on to the next cosmetic. I rate the shiny Bambi a. 7.5 out of 10 you know the shiny isn't too too much different from the regular one but i do like it a little bit better so i'm gonna put it above the non-shiny uh yeah let's go on to the next one all right so we have non-shiny kimimaru right here and honestly it's pretty cool the bones are okay uh it's it's not too crazy uh, you guys will see the shiny version in a sec, but it's it's pretty cool. I like the little uh, knot at the back. I don't know what that's called, that belt thing that holds his clothes together. Uh, you get his bottom half of the clothes, but you don't get the top half. Uh, you, The bones are really cool. Yeah, it's pretty solid cosmetic, honestly, for a non-shiny LB unit. I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I, I assume the the shiny version will be a little bit more. Will hopefully be a little better. Um, but yeah, pretty solid non-shiny LB unit this time. Let me know what you guys think about this guy. Uh, yeah, I think a 7 out of 10 is pretty fair for him. Maybe, yeah, well, you know, we'll keep it at 7 out of 10. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I really like how like only the bottom half of his clothes is given because um usually the, the top half doesn't look that good but i don't know i think it's i think it's pretty cool uh but yeah let's go on to the shiny version so this is shiny kimomaru um what or however you say his name the game really confuses me but yeah we get a little bit more detail like we get his tail that swings around we get his the bones have a little bit more detail even i think we get more bones on the arm as well and his clothes 
his clothing at the bottom, like his pants, is a little like ripped, if you can tell. Um, yeah, but it's 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 pretty solid, shiny LB unit. It definitely is a little bit of an upgrade from the non-shiny, uh, unless you guys like like the little knot at the back instead of the tail. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know which one I like more. The tail is pretty cool, but uh, like the little like not at the back i st i don't know what that belt thing is called but you, if you guys, you guys know what i'm talking about the purple belt not thing I, I i think i still like that more but it's pretty solid I, i'd probably give this like a 7.3 out of 10. uh it's i think it's a little bit more cooler than the non-shiny version mainly because the bones have more detail more bones in the arm um, but yeah, that's about it. 7.3 out of 10. I still think I still like shiny Bambi more, but let's go on to the next cosmetic. All right. So we have the last cosmetic right here. This is shiny bell. Uh, we're going to showcase his shiny first. Cause I don't feel like wasting rerolls for his non shiny, but his shiny version is super cool. Look at this. You get his armor and then you get a sword and his lightning effect. Unfortunately, I'm going to shine unshiny this, but this is definitely one of the best battle pass cosmetics i've seen in a while um if you guys like this cosmetic definitely keep him i think it's worth it i'm honestly going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 the shiny i haven't seen the non-shiny i don't think this non-shiny is going to be as good as the shiny but damn look at this that is sick the details on this armor is super cool and then the sword is cool as well and I really like the aura. You get some stars and some lightning. I'm, I'm sad I'm going to have to unshiny this. But we're doing it for the video. I'm, I already have my favorite cosmetic, which is Shiny Skull Knight. So I don't need any other one. Oh, wait. Let me unequip this. Uh, yeah. Goodbye, Shiny Bell. But you guys definitely shouldn't unshiny them. I think he's super cool. But there we go. Let's see what his non-shiny is. And it's just literally, it's literally just a sword, just a sword, nothing else. Um, yeah, we're gonna give, we're gonna give his uh, non -sh non shiny a six out of ten, not even maybe five point five. It's literally just his sword. Yeah, we'll give him a, a five point five out of ten. Nothing compared to the the shiny version. The shiny version is definitely ahead of the um, non shiny. But yeah, that's about it for all the cosmetics. We still are missing Caesar, but we have to wait till next week to do it. I might do like a shorts on the Caesar cosmetic if I manage to get first on this tournament. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll post his cosmetic soon, right when it comes out. But I think that's about it for all the cosmetics in this update. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.